What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name is Michael Roman aka Allfires and I cannot believe what we got today uploaded officially from one of the original art directors and the guy who did this animatic. It's the final battle from the never released Sam Raimi Spider-Man 4, the one where John Malkovich would have played the Vulture after they folded production on this for a ton of reasons. A week later, they would have announced that Andrew Garfield reboot. Considering all that's happening right now with the multiverse and Spider-Man No Way Home that's coming up, I think it's very interesting this art director decided to choose to share this considering the rest of those films are gonna become canonized. Of course, Spider-Man 4 was never made and we have a new Vulture. We're gonna play through the entirety of this animatic and react to it. I haven't seen it yet. You're gonna get my raw reaction. I'm very surprised this hit the internet, but either way, let's check it out. I'm going to play it for you right here. But first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every week while the shows are live. We've also announced our brand new Loki giveaway. It's a CGC Signature Series Avengers 118 graded in a 9.4. CGC Signature Series means that CGC, the same company that graded this comic, was there in person when it was signed by Tom Hiddleston Loki and Elizabeth Olsen Scarlet Witch. They both feature in this story and on a comic book cover that has most of the Avengers, the Defense Avengers fighting against Dormammu. If you want to be entered to win this Avengers 118, either of the PlayStations, any of the subscriptions, or any of the prizes coming up, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then leave a comment down below, and if you want, stick around at the end of the video. We'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So again, real quick before we get into the reaction and I play this footage for you guys, this was posted by David E. Duncan, the art director who did this animatic for the final film in the fourth Sam Raimi Spider-Man film which was never to be released. You have to imagine he definitely received some permission or is the IP owner of this. I'll leave a link to his Vimeo down in the description and the comments below. He would have done this work for Sony. He's currently working on Mandalorian and other stuff for Disney. But if you wanna see where this is originally posted or share a comment or message with him, either way, this is crazy considering that they're about to recanonize both this universe and the Andrew Garfield universe in the upcoming Spider-Man No Way Home, making all of the Sony Spider-Verses technically MCU canon up until now so to see this final battle and to have it released literally while we're talking about all the spider-man no way home and technically maybe weeks before the trailer drops pretty interesting let's go ahead and watch it together i'm going to react while we watch it spider-man landing oh i like the style on this a lot like the drawn stop animation for this is pretty awesome. You see animatics in all sorts of styles, but this is like a, the pre-art done so they can work through the scenes um, before they start adding VFX or shooting any of the cinematography, you know, like a rough rough. Got the parachute deployment right there. Note this is Final Battle in City Corp. So this would have been the end of Spider-Man 4 just crazy that he uploaded this uh you know he wouldn't have done so unofficially he would have had permission to do so he would have risked his whole career this guy's also working on the mandalorian and a ton of stuff still for disney so he's got the he's all ripped up a ton of glass you see vulture in the background it's all around him looks like vulture gets the upper hand falls him up the front man his buddy's in bad shape your man your man your man's is in rough shape classic Classic uh, mask ripped half off. Now again, remember this would have been Spider-Man 4, so this was still Tobey Maguire's iteration. They didn't announce the Andrew Garfield reboot until they canned this, and there was about like a week in between. Uh, what's crazy is that happened in 2009 after 2008's release of Iron Man, so we were already in the MCU at this point. Misses them there. Goes to slash again. He misses him a couple of times. Oh, right through his shoulder. Yikes. This is actually like a pretty visceral scene. Uh, man, man, I wonder how it would have felt for everyone who put this much work into a Spider-Man 4 to turn around for Sony to be like, yeah, we're not going to do this. And then announce a reboot with a new lead actor like a couple of weeks later. And then the art directors just sat on this animatic for who knows how long. definitely intense okay, he feels motivated to fight back finally he's about to die looks like he kills the vulture here or at least it looks like it oh, 
classic falls to his death and then rolls over the side after we get a, a moment of reflection. Oh, man. Classic. Oh, he flies off. Okay, so he survives. So he survives. How crazy would it be if John Malkovich's Vulture's a variant of Michael Keaton's? That'd be, that'd be crazy. I don't think there's any way that's going to happen, but that would be wild. Got a bunch of glass. This would have been an intense final fight, and if you remember correctly, there was a ton of backlash to the casting of John Malkovich as the Vulture on the internet. A ton. And people really reacted to it negatively, which is crazy to me for two reasons. Number one, John Malkovich is an incredible actor, but number two, he would have killed it as the Vulture. You have to imagine it had something to do with the success of Iron Man coming out of the gate, what really felt like an upgrade to superhero movies, and who knows what Sony's reasons were, but as I mentioned just moments ago while we were watching this, could you imagine being the art director or being anyone involved in getting to this level of work on a film only to have the plug pulled for whatever reason and then a reboot announced weeks later, which is technically what happened with Andrew Garfield. We all know how that ended. Now remember guys, this film was never actually made. It's not even canon to the Sonyverse, so it's not canon to the MCU. I just think it's interesting the timing of this to sort of surface when we're anxiously waiting on the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer that is going to canonize these original Sony universes. I say that with some sort of uh, some sort of assurance at this point because if it's not, I think we'd all be more shocked. There's no Spider-Verse than if there is. Guys, let me know all your thoughts and reactions to this. Again, there will be a link to David E. Duncan's Vimeo down in the description and the comments. I sent him a message on Vimeo. I don't know if he's going to get back to me, but man, I'd love his reaction and or to get him here on the channel if he'd like to talk about it in any way. There might be NDAs. Can't talk about anything. Uh, but it is it is crazy to see. Can't believe this surfaced. It's amazing. Too bad this movie didn't get made, but hey, we all know how that went. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away a PlayStation 5 now at 900,000 subscribers, as well as Disney Plus subscriptions every week. And as we mentioned at the beginning of the video, this Avengers 118 graded in a 9.4 signed by Tom Hiddleston and Elizabeth Olsen. If you want to be entered to win any of the current giveaways or any of the future giveaways, all the same rules will always apply at the channel. Hit the subscribe button because you need to be a subscriber, then leave a comment down below. Because it's truly random, the more videos you comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced, selected at random, and then announced at the end of the videos the same way we're doing here. The best way to keep up with the content has always been to hit the notification bell with notifications turned on. And as always, if you liked today's video, I'd appreciate it if you'd hit the like button. My name's Michael Roman. You can find me over on Instagram and Twitter at IamFires. You can also find me on Spotify, YouTube, Amazon, Apple, wherever you get original music with the name All fighters thanks so much for checking out the channel guys and stick around we'll be posting again real real soon